Mr. Jello, will you please rise? And with that, former Liberian President Charles Taylor stood in the International Criminal Court to hear the judge's ruling. He's appealed his conviction for war crimes. Charles Ganke Taylor remains in the custody of the Special Court for Syrian, pending the finalization of arrangements to serve his sentence. Appeal denied. The 65-year-old will serve his 50-year sentence handed down to him last year for encouraging rebels in neighboring Sierra Leone to murder, mutilate and rape during a decade-long civil war. The conflict killed more than 50,000 people and left tens of thousands more with their limbs hacked off in the brutal violence. Prosecutors accused Taylor of running a blood diamond trade to help finance his activities, allegations he denied. It's a lie, it's a diabolical lie. Never. His conviction in 2012, broadcast live on television, made Taylor the first head of state to be found guilty by an international tribunal since the Nazi trials in Nuremberg. Thursday's ruling reaffirms that conviction. Dismisses the remaining grounds of appeal. Affirms the sentence of 50 years imprisonment imposed by the trial chamber. In Sierra Leone's capital, Freetown, victims were said to be jubilant over the ruling. But in Liberia, Taylor's supporters denounced the court, saying it unfairly targets Africans.